In this video, we are going to discuss about energy harvesting by using human body. Warm-blooded animals are homeotherms. Homeotherms means it is an organism with uh, which maintains constant body temperature. Usually, which is above the environment by using metabolic activity including humans constantly generate heat as a useful side effect of metabolism however only a part of this heat is dissipated into the ambient as a heat flow and infrared radiation the rest of it is rejected in a form of water vapor. Furthermore, only a small fraction of a heat flow can be used in a compact, wearer's friendly and unobtrusive energy scavengers. For example, nobody would like to wear a device on his or her face. Therefore, the heat flow from the face cannot be used. Right? So, the heat flow can be converted into electricity by using a thermoelectric generator TEG. The heart of which is a thermopyl. It is known from the thermodynamics that the heat flow observed on human skin cannot be effectively converted into electricity. Although a human being generates more than 100 watts of heat on average, Assuming that about 1 to 2 percent of his heat can be used an electrical power of the order of milliwatts can be obtained using a person as a heat generator. We know that the watch which will consume about 100 times less power, it is fairly good power. Human being is not a perfect heat supply for a wearable TEG. The body has high thermal resistance. Therefore, the heat flow is quite limited. This is explained by the fact that warm-blooded animals have reached in the process of evaluation a very effective thermal management. In particular, this includes a very high thermal resistance of the body at ambient temperatures below 20 to 25 degree C. Especially if the skin temperature decreases below the sensation of thermal comfort. At typical indoor condition, the heat flow in a person depends on the location on the body and mainly stays within the 1 to 10 milliwatt per square centimeter. The forehead produces larger heat flow than the area covered by the clots. Because of thermal insulation due to clots, not much heat is dissipated from the skin and only about 3 to 6 
मिली वॉट पर स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर इज ऑब्जर्व इन डोज ऑन एवरेज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द फिजिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ द पर्सन द हीट डिसिपेशन इज एक्सट्रीमिटीज स्विच एदर ऑन और ऑफ दिस इज टू प्रिसर्व द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द बॉडी कोर एट लो मेटाबॉलिक रेट एंड टू डिसिपेट द एक्सेस हीट वेन बॉडी टेम्परेचर रेसस ड्यू टू increased physical activity the ambient air has a high thermal resistance to indoors it can be evaluated by using natural heat conduction theory the teg placed at the interface between the object with high thermal resistance that is the body and the air must also have relatively high thermal resistance this can be explained by using electrothermal analogy that is when voltage current and resistance are replaced with temperature difference del t heat flow comma w and thermal resistance respectively the corresponding thermal circuit is shown in the figure with for a uh, two cases right one is a naked human being with no devices that is the first one and uh, and the second one is with a teg on the skin okay the human body as a heat generator and the ambient temperature as a heat sink represent natural thermal generator that is shunted on the skin that is at the interface between the body and air This is a figure two point one a. It represent uh, uh, that is a uh, no device, okay. And uh, you can see in the um, circuit two, that is two point one b. The T E G is uh, paste uh, on the skin. Uh, uh, this devices is behave as a thermal load. of the thermal generator okay that is r suffix teg the thermal circuit of a wearable teg placed in contact with the skin involves the thermal resistance of the body r hg and of the ambient air r suffix hs these resistors are connected in series and represent the thermal resistance of the thermal generator despite the fact that the air is a heat sink in terms of thermal circuits its thermal resistance act in the same way as the one of the body that is of the heat generator and must be included into the thermal generator in other words the thermal resistance of the body and the air is the thermal resistance of the environment surrounding the teg the heat flow in the circuit w is a ratio of the temperature difference between the deep body temperature or core temperature t suffix core and the ambient air with the temperature t suffix r to the thermal resistance of the circuit 
the normal core temperature in human is about 37 degree c with a day to night variation of 0.5 to 1 degree c animals in general have similar core temperature but in cattle it is frequently a little higher up to 39 degree c in camels and baby animals it can further rise up to about 41 degree c the highest core temperature up to about 45 degree c have been registered in small birds typically the birds temperature ranges between 38 degree c and 42 degree c at night however birds have the lowest temperature which is called as nocturnal hypothermia in general the smaller the animal the smaller wearable tg is needed to produce the same power the smallest tg is required on a bird because of a high heat transfer coefficient from it during flight which is good for the bird it is obvious from the figure b 2.1 b that the available temperature difference delta t is equal to t core minus t r can never appear on the teg because of high thermal resistance of the ambient air and frequently of, of the body the ratio rteg divided by rhg plus rhs plus rteg determines the part of available temperature difference to be obtained on a teg that is del T suffix TEG is equal to T skin minus T suffix rad where T rad is the temperature of the outer surface of the TEG which is called radiator. The thermal temp resistor composing the thermal generators are variable and depend on each other and on the thermal resistance of a TEG therefore T suffix skin and T suffix rad in the figure second second figure 2.1 B are not same as a first figure at the same ambient condition the increased thermal resistance of the circuit or a second circuit due to a thermal road can cause also the heat flow w to decrease because of specific conditions of a thermopill application there are specific requirement to both thermopill and the teg in most of the energy harvesters including wearable devices First, the optimal thermal resistance of a thermopill or suffix TP required for maximum power generation must be equal to R suffix PP R suffix TG opt divided by R PP minus R suffix TG opt where R PP is a parasitic thermal resistance of a TEG and RTG opt is the optimal thermal resistance of a TEG at which the power generation reaches its maximum. The parasitic thermal resistance RPP is always observed due to first one air inside the TEG second one holding mechanical component interconnecting the cold and hot side of a TEG 
that is the element connected thermally in parallel to the thermopile and third one a heat exchange due to infrared radiation the thermal resistors or pp is connected thermally in parallel to the thermopile between its hot and cold junctions actually it may include some thermal resistance associated with parasitic heat transfer from the body source to the radiator or to the boundary boundary layer through convection and radiation outside the teg the optimal thermal resistance of a teg can be obtained from the equation of its thermal matching with the ambient rtg opt is equal to rhg plus rhs open basis close basis rem divide by rem plus 2 into open basis close basis inside that one you have to substitute rhg plus rhs where this rhg is a local thermal resistance of human body between the body core and the chosen location on the skin rhs is a thermal resistance of a heat sink that is the thermal resistance due to convection and radiation on the other outer side of teg and rem is a thermal resistance of a teg which could occur if the teg would be empty that is namely with no thermo electric material with no thermo electric material in it rtg opt as a thermal equivalent of electrical matching of a generator with its load n is equal to that is thermal insulation factor that is equal to rem divided by rhg plus rhs must be preferably more than 1 this ratio depends on the area of radiator the contact area with the skin and on the thickness of a teg the thinner the teg the less power it regrettably produces due to thermal shunting of a thermopile through the air and holding components the maximum power takes place at the optimal temperature difference between the cold and hot thermopile junction del t base tp it can be expressed as del t divide by 2 open basis close basis inside that one 1 plus 1 by n so that at n is equal to 1 only 25% of delta t can be obtained on the thermopile if n is greater than 1 delta t tp approaches a half of delta t like in the other reversible heat engines the thermal conductivity of air is significantly less than that of thermoelectric material and can therefore be neglected in this case one can obtain the expression for the power that can be reached in a variable teg p max is equal to z divided by 8 into delta t by in suffix tp into delta t divided by open basis close basis inside that one rhg plus rhs where is it as a thermoelectric figure of merit from the equation 
R suffix TP and P max, a compact variable TG should be semi empty where the thermopyl must occupy only a minor part of the device volume. The rest must be filled with air or with a material showing thermal conductivity less than the thermal conductivity of air. The radiation heat exchange between the hot and cold component of a TEG must preferably be minimized through the use of material with low emission coefficient in long wave infrared spectral region that is metals. The requirement of a semi empty TEG offers a good chance to body powered power converters to be embedded in piece of clothing. Such low weight devices could be user friendly and comfortable while being worn. Some of my reference for making this videos I have given below. First one, Analisa Bonfig Glow and Dilo D Rossi. Wearable monitoring systems. Springer 2011. Second one, Bookers Gong Zong Yang Body Sensor Network. Springer 2006. Third one is Fundamentals of Internet of Things, IoT and Wearable Technology Design. IEEE Press, Willy, Higher Road. Fourth one, Wearable Sensor, Fundamentals, Implementations and Applications, edited by Edward Sasunovo, second edition. So, thank you for listening to this video.